I'm really feeling this makeup today. And the ears. I didn't even acknowledge the ears in the video. I just wore them. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and I try to post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Today, I'm doing a full review with swatches and demo of the new Kylie Cosmetics Blue Honey Palette. So this is what all the shades look like. I will be doing close-ups and swatches a little bit later in the video. Okay, so I have her website pulled up on my phone. I'm just gonna read a little bit about the palette. You get nine shadows in here, and each shadow is 1.4 grams. The palette retails for $38, which brings the price per shadow. Let's do some math. <laughs> which brings each shadow to around $4.20 per shadow, which is a little on the pricey side. The website says the Kai Shadow Kit Pressed Powder Eyeshadows are talc and paraben free, have medium buildable coverage, and a velvety smooth texture. Now that I would agree with. Honestly, first going into these eyeshadows, I was very skeptical. I have never tried anything from Kylie Cosmetics before I placed this order. I ordered the Blue Honey palette and I also placed the order for the Purple palette as well. So these were my first experiences with Kylie Cosmetics and with the Kylie Cosmetics eyeshadow formula as a whole. And I have to say, I was blown away. <laughs> just to start off with, these shadows, the, these colors just really speak to me they are beautiful they are arranged beautifully you can do you can see she kind of arranged them into trios so you can use this top row by itself you can use this bottom row together or you could use the very bottom row by themselves and it makes a beautiful look you have five mattes and then four shimmers and i love the way that she arranged the palette so that you have the mattes in kind of like an x pattern and then the outer middle parts are all shimmers the packaging itself is nice. It seems pretty typical from her other nine pan palettes um, as the purple palette is the exact same. It's some nice cardboard. It's got a nice closure on it. The only thing I really don't like is that all the names for the shades, it's really reflective, but all the names are on this sticker on the back. It's not actually on the palette. So I don't think you can see it, but I've only had this for about a week and I've been using it every day and it's it's already been scratched off to the point where one of the shade names is no longer readable and i just find that really annoying i think that if they had just placed or just imprinted this on the palette itself it that whole problem could have been avoided because eventually everything's going to scratch off and i'm not going to be able to know what the shade names are unless i go and i look it up online so overall i was really impressed with this palette i have used all the shades in here in multiple looks i'm wearing it on my eyes today today i used this beautiful color in the middle it's called buzz off this like champagne color all over the lid and then i used the middle shade which is called blue honey hence the blue honey palette um, throughout my crease and on my outer V. So that was it for this look. I really enjoyed how it came out. I'm gonna go ahead and insert swatches of all the shades right here so that you can take a look and see what the shades look like on my skin tone. The only shade that you'll see in the video clip that didn't really show off was this nude shade right over here. It's called Raw. This one is pretty much the exact same shade as like my arm, so it really didn't come up at all. But then you'll see the rest of the colors just fine.
from the video it does swatch beautifully the colors really work well together I really enjoyed every look that I put together with this palette. The colors are very blendable, they are very pigmented. You can build up the ones that aren't as pigmented. Another thing that I do want to mention is that some of the shades, especially these mattes on the bottom right here, do kick up some powder. So you'll see in the demo I did get a little bit of fallout, but if you do your eyes first, like I do 99% of the time, you will avoid that problem. So let's go ahead and jump into the demo of me applying this to my eyes. Okay, so that was the demo showing you the look that I put in the thumbnail for this video using the palette. Overall, do I think this palette is worth it? 100%. I was blown away um, by the quality, by the, um, by the color combinations, by everything about this palette. And it was the exact opposite of what I was expecting. Because honestly, never having tried Kylie Cosmetics before, I thought it was just a bunch of overpriced products with a name on them. I didn't really put any value or any stock into what the actual products themselves could be and this palette really did surprise me. The same thing happened with the purple palette. If you guys want to see the same kind of review on this one, I know it's a little bit older so you guys might have already seen too many of those but if you want go ahead and let me know down below. I'd be happy to do either a review or I could do a couple of looks one palette with the purple palette. Um, do I think it's worth the $38? I think that's a little bit expensive, but but I think that's where 
the name comes in. You're paying a little bit more. Honestly, I think this would be right around the $30, maybe $28 mark would be perfect for this. But as I said before, you are paying for the name. So thank you for stopping by this review. Are you going to pick up this palette or have you already picked it up? Go ahead and let me know down below. I would love to hear your thoughts like always. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like reviews like this and you want to see more in the future. And I hope you'll subscribe before you head out. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!